Welcome back to the channel, my fellow dream chasers. And if this is your first time coming to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like button. And I appreciate all your all your support. Uh, the channel has only been active for a few days and uh, we're getting a good amount of views and a good amount of uh, steady uh, subscribers joining the channel. Again, if you like the content I'm putting out, uh, please share the video um, with other people, uh, share it on social media. I uh, wanna get as many views on each video as possible. Uh, you never know, this might be the thing to help somebody else uh, get motivated enough to get up off the couch or uh, start their weight loss journey. Um, that's what happened to me. I was watching other people's videos, watching their before and after videos, and uh, that stuff gets me motivated. So it motivated me to really stick uh, to this diet plan and uh, start making my own videos to help keep me accountable and uh, it's working. So it's, it's definitely helping me stay focused. Um, and as far as how I'm feeling right now, uh, one meal a day is going good. Um, again, I haven't felt uh, super hungry. Uh, today I didn't get hungry at all. Um, I, I was good all day long. Um, I ate around five o'clock uh, and I was good after that, uh, even now. Um, it is, let's see, it's about a little after 10, 10 05, and uh, I still feel good. So <clears throat> I've just been drinking water. I still uh, feel satisfied from the meal I ate. Um, I had uh, the meat uh, was barbecued, no sauce, just uh, basically smoked meat or barbecued meat. Uh, I had some brisket, uh, some smoked chicken, uh, and some veggies with it, but no sauce, no sweet stuff at all. Um, I drank a, uh, um, some Mio, like I was telling you earlier, uh, with it, uh, no diet sodas, um, and I'm good. But uh, <laughs> weigh-in uh, went really good today. Um, you guys will see that in just a few moments. Um, <clears throat> weighed myself again, um, still going down. Um, it was a uh, bigger number today, so I was really happy with that. Um, I got a little bit of cardio in. It's still raining and, uh, and uh, storming here in Oklahoma. Um, so as soon as I get a sunny day, I'll take you guys out with me. And uh, i just take you, show you a little bit, not the whole thing, but just a little bit of uh, my cardio routine that I do outside. Uh, I'll also be uh, doing more videos at the gym. Um, and as you can tell, I always record in my garage um, and I've got a full cage in here with about 700 pounds of free weights, all Olympic weights. Um, and uh, so I can do, so, do a couple videos in here. The lighting in here is kind of dark. I sit directly under uh, the middle garage light uh, for the best lighting. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so I'll you either be here or at Gold's Gym, but I'm gonna start adding that into my videos uh, just to help you guys out give you an idea of what I'm doing uh, for my workout. But um, <clears throat> still same thing, um, monitoring uh, my blood sugar's going down. So uh, like I told you, I'm type two diabetic. So uh, my blood sugars have been uh, kind of high lately in between 200 and 300. Um, so they're uh, finally down uh, in the 100 range uh, without taking any medicine, which is awesome. So. And if you don't know, a normal blood sugar uh, is about 140 uh, or and below for a normal person. So uh, that's kind of an easy way to check if you're pre-diabetic uh, or at least type two diabetic. If you, uh, easy way is if you eat something sweet, candy, a sugary drink, something like that, and uh, you check your blood sugar. Uh, if you stay under 140, <laughs> you're good. If you're uh, hovering a little bit over, or uh, a good amount higher than that, excuse me, you might be diabetic or pre-diabetic. Uh, so you might check, get uh, checked out with your uh, doctor. Uh, there's a thing called a A1C that tells you what your average uh, blood sugar range has been for the last few months. Uh, your doctor can do that through a, a blood test. They'll take a blood sample and send it off and check. And uh, you can also check yourself uh, by uh, purchasing a blood sugar, a blood glucose uh, meter, which I have a link to the one I use in the description below this. Um, also, you always wanna monitor your blood pressure, especially 
if you're uh, overweight or severely overweight. Um, even if you're not overweight, it's just a good thing to check just to see where you are. You always want to know your numbers. Um, and also, of course, your weight. So, like I said, I always promote um, the uh, equipment I use. Like I said, I spent uh, several weeks uh, trying to find the best equipment for each different topic. So I wanted to monitor my blood pressure. So I spent a few days uh, researching which blood pressure cuff was the best. Uh, same thing with the weight scale I use, same thing with the uh, blood uh, glucose meter I use. All that stuff I researched heavily. So you guys don't even have to do the research. Um, it's just good tools to have. And uh, I've already done the research for you. Like I said, they're down in the description below this video. You can purchase those off Amazon and they're all relatively inexpensive. And every single item I use, I like it to have a lot of features for the money. So all of those work with smartphones, whether you have Android or iPhone, and uh, they all have their own apps, uh, so you can keep track of everything. But they all have tons of functions for the money and they're all relatively inexpensive. Um, there's also a few books uh, that I read, and I'll start uh, linking those also, because I like to read, knowledge is power, <laughs> so, as they say. So uh, I read a lot, um, and a lot of the stuff, guys, especially all this health stuff, when I was in school, they didn't teach you uh, about any of this stuff. So they teach you the, uh, they used to uh, teach you that basic food groups pyramid, uh, which that's all wrong. That has you eating a ton of grains, a ton of carbs. That's incorrect. So if you follow that, that might be the reason that uh, diabetes has soared so much over the years. and. Now we're starting to see diabetes in kids younger and younger because the things that they taught us in school are incorrect. So, <clears throat> so you gotta change your way of thinking, I'm telling you. So do your own research. Um, you can look on YouTube, you can follow my channel. I'll start doing more informational videos, just giving you guys some tips um, about keto, um, about how, how bad sugar is for you and um, uh, you can even, there's a, a few Netflix documentaries that I watch uh, where they even show uh, sugar in the brain uh, gives a, a bigger response than cocaine does. So sugar uh, gives you a, you can become addicted to sugar uh, just like a cocaine addict. So, and I'm proof positive of that. So sometimes when I'm trying to diet, um, it's so hard because you get those, those cravings for carbs or sugar. Uh, me, it's usually sugar, and I don't really eat candy. I like pastries, so like pies, uh, stuff like that. Like, I love that stuff, so <clears throat> that's my weakness. So I gotta stay away from that. But, um, yeah, just educate yourself, guys, because um, most of the stuff that uh, we learned over the years as kids, especially health stuff, is incorrect. So, <clears throat> when I was a kid, I didn't even know what diabetes was, because you didn't really hear about it that much. So but it uh, runs in my family a little bit. But uh, when I was younger, nobody had it. So nobody really started having issues with uh, diabetes until we all started getting a little bit older. So, and then you gotta start educating yourself. But if you uh, know all this information ahead of time, uh, you don't even have to uh, get to the point where you're having to be on all these medicines and uh, having health issues, just, just knowledge. So if you got kids, uh, anybody else in your family that's younger than you, um, educate them, let them know. Like, <clears throat> just keep sharing that information and uh, hopefully we can uh, get rid of this, this diabetic epidemic that we're having here in the, in the US. So tons of uh, cases of diabetes popping up every day. But, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, so let's get to the way and I was went off on a tangent on that. But uh, <clears throat> let's get to the weigh-in, see where I'm at. And uh, again, thanks you guys for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe and like button, uh, share the video. Again, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you watching. Um, hope I'm motivating you guys uh, to start your own weight loss journeys. And uh, again, if you need any of the equipment that I'm using that's helping me through this process, it's all down in the description. I'll also put some links to the books that I read um, that I have at home down in the description. 
um, under this video. And if you guys have any questions about anything, hit me down in the comments. I read every comment. I reply to every comment. Um, you can also uh, go find me on Instagram and Twitter. On Instagram, my uh, username is Dream Chasers Media Group. Uh, you can find me there. I'll be posting tons of extra content on Instagram also. You'll also be notified anytime I upload a new video on Instagram. Same thing on Twitter, Dream Chasers Media Group. All right, guys. <clears throat> so make sure you uh, follow me on all those. Let's get to the weigh in. <laughs> All right, this is episode four, day three. Um, weigh in, we'll see how much I'm uh, doing now. Feel good, I definitely feel lighter again. Uh, so I think I've lost, I mean, if I had to guess, um, at least a pound, but uh, let's uh, weigh myself again. Again, uh, last episode, I was uh, uh, 248. Um, uh, and I, I'd only lost um, like 0.2 pounds from the previous day last episode. Uh, and I think I'll start uh, actually putting these in the video, uh, like on the side, so we can keep track of uh, um, how much I lose each day. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and weigh in and see where I'm at. <clears throat> Nice. Looks like I lost about three pounds. <clears throat> so, since the previous day, things are headed in the right direction. So again, these weigh-ins aren't weekly. Uh, this is every day. So uh, first day I lost 10 pounds. Uh, Second day, I lost um, 0.2, and today I lost another three pounds. That's awesome. So, looks like I'm, if this continues, I'll be at my goal weight pretty quickly. So, all right. <clears throat> Thank you guys for watching. All right, I'm back, guys. As you can see, <clears throat> I lost uh, three pounds uh, since yesterday, so that's a good deal. So, I had a uh, real big weight loss right off the bat, losing that 10 pounds, then lost uh, like 0.2 pounds yesterday, and then today lost a full three pounds, so that's awesome. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm feeling slimmer, my clothes are fitting me uh, better, uh, so I'm liking all that. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure, the, I'm hoping the weight loss will really start to come off um, after I really kick up my uh, workout routine. Uh, like I told you earlier in the video, it's just been raining nonstop, guys, and uh, I prefer to run outside. So as soon as all that stops, um, I'll uh, kick up that cardio. So hopefully that'll start making me lose weight even faster. Again, my goal weight is 180 pounds. Uh, so I'm getting there slowly but surely. And uh, keep watching, guys. Again, thanks for the support. Um, a lot of you guys have uh, hit me up on Instagram. Um, in the uh, and on YouTube, so I appreciate you guys watching and appreciate uh, the interest. So again, if you guys have any questions, uh, hit me up in the comments. Again, you can find me on uh, Instagram at uh, Dream Chasers uh, Media Group and on Twitter at Dream Chasers Media Group. All right, guys, <clears throat> I'll talk to you later. Catch you in the uh, tomorrow's episode. Hopefully, it's another big weight loss. <laughs> we'll see.